On tonight's episode of Bigfoot Nation, Teresa Finch and Richter Riolo conduct a follow-up examination of what visited them the night before. That's where it was. And expedition members grill Justin Smeha over whether or not he shot and killed Bigfoot. I'm trying to get my head wrapped around it because it's some of it sounds like bullshit. Well, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry, but this, I'm just saying. I'm just. I'll give you your money. No, 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 no. I'm good. No, I'm go go I, I want to no, be seriously. here. No, I'm good. I just want to ask a few questions. The, that's the, all. There's the money. And nope. You can go home. I don't yep. want to go. Home. God, he's always peeing. Okay, so last night at about 4.30 in the morning, Teresa's sitting here. I'm sitting right there. Your line of sight. What were we looking at? See where that first little tree is and then the second one behind it? That's where it was. Okay, we're gonna walk over there. So I'll be Bobo. I want to go too. Huh? I want to go too. Well, then all of us then. Well, yeah. For the size comparison thing. Um, okay. Oh, yeah, so go back right where she's standing. Yeah, you can't reach it because it was actually taller than that. But you standing there is really good. That's how it looked. I think it was standing right here, looking over. I thought it was. Okay. Like, see that stuff right there? Yeah. Like it. So I thought, but it was too. It was sticking out. And then okay. I had the... There's no like in here. I know. I see that. That's what I thought. And... If you That's why I was trying to convince myself that it was like it. So from the point of view, it was clear... If it, if it was standing right here, looking right at us. Yeah. At the fire. And like the... Just a little... Little move. So if you could see, it was... Kind of creepy, huh? Yeah. You want me to walk towards it? No way. <laughs> <laughs> I was happy that Teresa had a sighting during the expedition, but sorry to see that she showed so much fear. Alrighty, what kind of FLIR is this? A uh, FLIR scout. Yeah? And why didn't we not get it recorded last night? The SD card was full, so when I pushed record, it shut it off. Okay, so we're going to fix that. Mm -hmm. Square this way, and then look at that. But first, you decide. I don't think this ground is good for casting. Yeah, it was definitely a left foot. Okay. And then here's one here. You can um, see the toes right here. Same thing, so it stepped away. But if that's a right, it went that way. Yeah. Through the clear, but in the brush, you know, keeping cover. 
But that, you didn't do that. Okay, just making sure. Yeah. I'll put my foot next to it. You know, I get it. Teresa was scared. Richter would have been a real jerk if he left her alone at that campfire. You know, there have been stories of Native American women being kidnapped from the Chihalas Indian Reserve in Washington State. She could have easily have been carried away. How do you know that shit? Come on, Tammy, every footer knows that. Okay, my foot is smaller compared to that. This is a size this, 13 boot. When you think of it, look, uh, if you're that thing, yeah. and what I saw, it was like that. With this, like Let me this. see. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. So I'm not stepping in it, but. Right. And this, and then, and then I saw this. And that's the thing that freaked me out. All right, can I have my dad cook that? Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you, my cocktail <laughs> makers. Something easily could have visited camp last night, but I'd already gone to bed. Priest of sighting tends to corroborate Justin's incident since it occurred nearby. However, every time I'm reminded that Justin shot a young, defenseless Bigfoot, I am overcome with flashbacks that I just can't explain. Okay, well, we just had lunch, and Kip and I... Can you smell that? What? It smells like dead animal, and it's coming from up that way on the hill. Well, they do say Bigfoot smells like dead animal. Hey, Kip, where are we at now? What exit are we on? The 09. I don't believe you. I gotta call my daughter. <laughs> She'll tell me where I'm at. Yo, where are we at? She's not from around here. Mm -mm. So about 20 minutes ago, Janine and Kip and myself were walking down the hill up near the area where Bart shot his thermal. And uh, we heard up ahead of us, uh, probably about, what, 20 yards? Uh, sound of a rock being thrown or it was actually like a clack sound from the rock hitting don't know if it was a rock being thrown or what but it's rock noise it, sometimes around four sometimes around. so you're trying to figure out if I can't tell the difference between a bear and a big thing. hi fellow squatchers Carrie Campbell here hey have you heard about the Sierra sounds well, these are amazing sounds of vocal interactions with Bigfoot Sasquatch creatures. If you haven't heard them, you need to visit sierrasounds.com or ronmoorhead.com and take a listen on the website. Uh, we have several vocalizations that you can hear there. You can purchase his book, Voices in the Wilderness, which is my personal favorite. The coolest thing about this book is that as you go along in the story where it says listen to track one, listen to track two, you pop in this audio CD and you get to hear exactly what they were experiencing at that time in the story. Also while there, you can purchase volume one and two of the Sierra Sound CDs. Volume one, Al Berry's story narrated by Jonathan Frakes. Volume two, Ron Moorhead stories and uh, interactions and narrated in Ron's silky smooth voice. So of course this one's mine. <laughs> anyway, visit ronmoorhead.com, bigfootsounds.com, and keep on squatching. Giants, Camels, and Monsters, the must-have book by archaeologist Kathy Strain. To know Bigfoot, you must first learn about the Native Americans and their different relationships with this mysterious creature. From their mythology, values, and spirituality to the different regions and traditions. This book collects 55 native cultures to tell these creatures in North America that live in the shallow existence between reality and the unknown. Look for it on Amazon.com. Hey, I wonder what the number one Bigfoot webcast is. I should have known. It's After Hours with Victor. I should have known. I should have known! It's After Hours with Richter! Only on YouTube. Hey, what's up? Uh, we're here at the Sierra Kill site. Uh, got some friends with me. Uh, we are in the middle of an expedition. I want to walk them through exactly what happened. So Justin's going to show us where he did the big shot. Pow! It's a lot of activity here. They, they come up on this ridge. We purposely set up on the bottom because they like to come up on this ridge here. All right. All right. Justin! Justin Smeha. This must be blindfolded. The show is yours. On 
On October 8th of 2010, a young California hunter named Justin Smea shook the Bigfoot community to its core. He claimed to have shot and killed Bigfoot. Now, after having been on numerous interviews, television shows, and participating in many conflicting DNA studies, Justin has decided to take people to the exact remote location and back to the very moment where he allegedly pulled the trigger. Today was October 8, 2010. It was a Wednesday, probably. It was 3.30 in the afternoon. Yeah, as much light as we do now, probably. By the time we got to the highway, you guys saw how long that took. By the time we got to the highway, it was still light. So, I did, with the hour time change and all that, I, I, I think you would have put it at 3.30, 4.30. And you were bear hunting or deer hunting? We were bear hunting. We had deer tags for across the highway, but our bear tags were good for inside here. So you couldn't so shoot a deer here, but we you went shoot a bear here. deer hunting this morning, and then we came over and we were going bear hunting here. We had this meadow marked out. Uh, they got what are called manzanita berries. The, everything, it's a bad example, but most everywhere you step, you're gonna be stepping on berries here. It was very green. This was filled with, with berries and uh, skunk cabbage. It, was a, it looked very different here. To set the scene, we're in a drought right now. Everybody knows that. It was a green, lush place, even in October. Our last turn, you have all these spur roads that come off Forest Road 09. And this was just one of the spur roads that we were gonna take. We're just gonna wrap the day up with this road and then go home. We pretty much knew that there would be a bear either right here or right there because we'd seen all the sign from the alder trees up there by the road. Have you guys seen any bear before that? Uh, well, we saw a bear that morning, maybe it ran across the road, I think. This is you and one other guy. This is me and my buddy the driver. The car is driving right now. Probably this is exactly what it looked like, except it was a lot greener. So the vehicle comes to a stop right here. I am the passenger. I look over and I see something on two legs down there. Sean, can you run over to where it is? You're the only one I think. Like how big? I know Sean's been through this at least four times. Way to go, Sean. So it was Sean's size? It was not Sean's oh, okay. size. It was Asian? But Sean knows where it was. So see if you can walk to the right place. So Bigfoot is Asian. Is that what we're saying? Yeah. Hold your arms out like you. Guys. <laughs> like you. The universal friendly. I was at Justin's tour of the kill site there. And uh, what I noticed is that adult Bigfoot had virtually no escape routes that could not be easily observed by Justin and his friend as they approached the, the area where they shot the adult. I concluded that the wounded adult Bigfoot simply uh, stumbled back into the shallow ravine immediately behind where it was shot and vaporized itself into an alternate state so that it could uh, survive its injuries. It's dark brown in color, red. Well, it was kind of the color of like a coyote. I mean, it, it wasn't that different than his sweatshirt. I mean, it was basically a gray-white. Perfect. Stood right there doing exactly that. I mean, just had his hands in the air. Me and my buddy argue that it was, you know, just because it was walking towards us. We argue that he was just walking towards us and had his hands like this, like almost like a zombie or whatever. And it was a male, not a female? Well, I don't know what it was. Uh, yeah, what's up with that? Bigfoot giving the Sasquatch hello, waving his arms. What's up with that? Where's the truck? Right here? The, the, no, the truck is right, right here. I'm sitting right here. I, I don't get out of the car or nothing. I'm sitting right here. I got the gun out the window. Uh, at one point, I, I think I should reposition. I opened the truck, got down so I could really get on the window, and get a rest. And then I shot. It goes down. It starts taking off running, and I just barely got the shot right where he is right now. I, that's why I talk about shooting straight up his ass. In the, okay, and, and so how, it's his size, how much bigger than quite a bit noticeable or only, you know? Uh, I think it was about seven and a half feet tall. Justin mentioned that just before he shot the, uh, the adult Bigfoot, 
that it was walking slowly towards him with his hands up and out to the side. So we shoot, it, it's just getting ready to disappear. And I got, and then my buddy says, oh shit, there's more. I don't know if he could have said anything else that would have stopped me from shooting. Like I was already like, I had it, it was gonna be dead. And he says there's more, that's, I mean, he could have said anything, I would have still shot it, except that was the last thing I was expecting to hear. So I put the gun down, I'm looking up, and then I see him coming out from over to the left, following where Sean just went. So we're in uh, my buddy's Bronco. It's lifted and got 44s and all that. Don't, don't do it. Well, he's saying all kinds of things. Yeah. yeah. What was going through your head? Shoot it. It's the monster. Like, if if you don't shoot it, you don't know what's going to happen. If you shoot it, at least it's going to die. I mean, just to make it simple, like I don't know what I was thinking. All kinds of things. The main thing I was thinking is that I had driven up on like a Hollywood production. Yeah, because it was obviously real. It was something that was there, but it can't be what it was because that doesn't exist. Like, open sights or scope? I had a scope. I looked at it pretty good. Uh, I don't know how I could be mistaken. That's what I always tell people. Wow, that's <laughs> so they, he takes the Bronco, speeds up, and starts driving over this stuff. Got to maybe right here. And uh, then it was kind of like we came to a hurricane sto stop because it was kind of like the car had just wrecked. Couldn't get any farther. We both bail out and just run after him. I have my rifle. My buddy doesn't have a rifle. This is a couple years old now, but this is right where it was standing when I shot. Um, it was coming from right here when we first spotted it. And so it looked like it was getting bigger and bigger as it was coming out doing its what I was doing with his arm, and it got through right here. And then we were just kind of caught, eyes locked. And then I'm getting ready to, as I'm getting ready to shoot it, he goes to turn to run, like this. So it turned to run, and then I hit it right here. Fell to the ground. It, the juveniles came over just from behind these trees. Well, it's pretty thick over there. They come over, we're running, and we're just kind of caught in a chase. By the time I get right here, I was in the shade. Big one, shot him, he ran off. The little one, just walking around. I get to right here and I just see him through these trees. Just right here. And they're like, I don't know, from here to the end of these trees, that's uh, they're, they're 20 feet away. The little ones. And they're about this big. Uh, they're cinnamon. I mean, like, just, 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 just like the color of most of the bears up here. So that's been a couple years, so these trees probably weren't here, some of them. I don't know. Um, what, what does that matter? For? I don't know, I'm just curious if, if maybe... Well, I came over here, I was in the shade, and yeah. Bigfoot have twice been observed by uh, expert researchers turning from a three-dimensional being into an orb. I believe that that is how the Bigfoot was able to survive. Now uh, he goes again. We don't know a whole lot of Bigfoot can turn orb, itself into magical that. orbs. How come humans can't? Incredible, because nobody can. That's fairies. That's why people make fun of us. Well, actually, there is a fairy. Ah, uh, well, you know, <laughs> you can't, but you can't do that either, can you? I'll try. <laughs> you give it a I'll shot. Try. I'll try. I'll do a better job than Bigfoot. That's right? what I'm sure. Absolutely. <laughs> Ooh, orbs. Orbs. So when you first shot it, how long did it fall down for? Uh, it, just like any animal. I mean, it, it f fell, fell down. down. Right back up. It's, it's, well, it was more like a floppy motion, like you know, kick and kick and trying to get up. It never really got onto two feet. Well, again, it, it tried. It would get up and then fall down, get up and fall down. There was no blood or anything, or we didn't look for blood. You didn't look for blood. Well, we you didn't have to look for blood. We come up here, and the juveniles are literally right here. Okay. I mean, they're right here in front of us. And so I pull up, I don't know if the trees were this big or not, I don't see why that matters, but I pull up, the juveniles are right here and I'm ready to shoot, I got him. I mean they're 20 feet away. But he's like, what are you doing, what are you doing? He's like, let's just get the big one and leave. And I was like, well, it'd be really way easier to shoot one of these and then just take it to the car and let's just go.
Welcome to Sasquatch Chronicles, a place where people share their encounters. Let's start the show. Go out in the woods and you shoot a Bigfoot. There's one thing that I ask, and that's take a picture so that we can see it. The more you know. Yesterday, Tammy, Tammy taught Richter how to shoot in the woods. He held it in for two days thinking someone was going to drive him down the hill to Bassett's to go poop. <laughs> but the best part is, we caught him on the trail cam. Yep, haven't seen nothing until you've seen a gay guy poop in the woods. <laughs> hey, hey Rick, you, you left these in the woods by the tree over there? Hey, let's just find the big one, then we can leave. Do not shoot one of the little ones. All right. Hey Justin, I got a quick question. We have um, a young man here. How tall were the little ones compared to this little guy right here? I'd say like right there. So he's little. Mm. Wow. Little and uh, they looked as skinny as he does. So he's nine years old, so who knows, huh? Mm. I, I would have put him at like five or six years old, but they're and they're what, making very noise skinny. Or? Yelling or making noise? They make a lot or? of noise. They're, they're sitting there. It sounds like, like a deaf person talking. Like they're going, uh, uh. And then they, they would do a lot of like a, a horse does, like shoulder shrugging. But on two two legs or four? Sometimes it was on two, sometimes it was on four. They'd go back and forth. And you didn't take a picture? They didn't take a picture. You don't take a camera hunting, do you? Well, I, I probably have my phone with me, but I didn't, <laughs> didn't take a picture. Well, it's the same thing that happened. Um, you guys saw things here? You guys didn't take a picture of it? I can see that. Well, I mean, I guess somebody could say that like, hey, hey, you're a trophy hunter. Like, why didn't you take a picture of it? And I don't think I'm a trophy hunter. I shoot to put meat on the table, but that's not your first reaction. It's just not. It's just like when you get in a car wreck, you're not like, I gotta get my, I gotta get my phone out and I gotta take a picture of it. It's just, it's just not what comes up. Huh. <laughs> you're not gonna pull out your cell phone and start yeah. taking pictures. Right, he's who's, pretty shaken up is what yeah, you think. Who's, who's gonna do that? I think between the story and the, and the lack of evidence, I can see why people would have a hard time believing. It's a lot to swallow. It's a remarkable story. And I've always said that a man is as good as his word. If Justin Smith said he shot and killed Santa Claus, I believe him. So I'm walking down through here. The little ones split. They go left and right or right and left. So this never, the, you lost sight of the big one. You're going to I look for it. I never saw the big one right after that last second when he said there's more. Uh, we can't heard it come somewhere over here and crash. We knew it was dead. It was just a matter of finding it. It wasn't a, it wasn't a question in our, in our mind. Like I had the rifle loaded just in case it needed another shot but there was no reason to think that it should have needed another shot. It was just, we had a dead Bigfoot, we were gonna go grab it and try to find a way to get the car. So when you first saw the big one, was it kneeling? Was it down? No. So when you first no, saw when it? No, when, when I first saw it, it was up. It took several steps. I mean, it wasn't. So why didn't you shoot the other one? Well, my, my buddy was just so against shooting the little one. I mean, it was just, it just seemed cruel, I guess. Well, you already shot the big one, so why not shoot the little ones too and then well, everything's hindsight's 2020. Everything. No, 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 it no. seems like you have I'm a problem just, with everything I'm saying. No, I'm just curious. I just, I mean, yeah. You're a hunter. I'm All right. just kind of wondering. Yep. So what what were you thinking happened to the big one then by this point? Were you kind of worried like it was suffering? or? Well, I, I, I figured we'd just come up and find it dead. I mean, it crashed somewhere over here. They never go uphill. Nothing goes uphill. It doesn't matter if it's five feet uphill. They just won't do it. They'll keep going downhill. At this point, the little ones had split up and come back together numerous times. It seemed like they were saying something. I thought it was an obvious interpretation, like, hey, have you seen mom? Have you seen dad? No, did you look by the tree? Did you look by the stump? Did you look by the rock? Yeah, I looked there, I looked there, I looked there, however they would describe it. And then they would split up again. 
but all they were doing is coming forward and doing their shoulders and oh, yeah. on all four or all two again well they would usually walk mostly on fours and they stop and then they'd come up and stand and then they'd stop a little walk and stand what like a prairie dog what do you mean like a prairie I don't dog? Know. what does that mean just like a like no. Okay. All right. I know. I just... It was a, a quite quadruped. Okay. Like a bear. Like a bear, but it wasn't a bear. It wasn't a bear. It wasn't a bear. Okay. Because bears are on four legs and kind of come up on two. But it seems like you're really trying to like have a problem here. No, no, no. I just, I'm just curious. I'm just, I got, I'm just trying to keep, make heads or tails. Okay. In my head. Yeah. I'm... No, they were not bears. Okay. Okay. They were not bears. You could have watched some stupid documentary or seen something where it said that they were bears. There was no bear shot. Okay. I've been hunting bears my whole life. These weren't bears. But it was running on four legs sometimes. Yeah, it was running okay. on four legs. Everyone, talk, everyone talks about Bigfoot being on two legs. Right. And so I'll, I'm trying to figure out if, if sometimes they're on four, sometimes they're on so two. So you're trying to figure out if I can't tell the difference between a bear and a Bigfoot. I don't know. I'm just making sure that you figured that what you saw was what you saw. I know you say you know what a pair is, but I don't know. It just I don't know. Go ahead. I'm sorry. So you 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 think these were bears, and I was just walking out shooting bears. I didn't say that. This morning, Teresa was given a hard time by Kip for not recording the Bigfoot she saw on the flare. Now, Kip is giving Justin a hard time. I don't think I like this dick, Kip. I had no idea that Kip had this in him. It's like Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. Where did this dick Kip come from? I thought we were all friends. I, I, I've heard the story of you guys right. driving away, not talking to each other. Right. What did you think? What was that in your mind that was... It's kind of kind of like I was reset. Like somebody pushed the reset button. Did you think it might be a person? No, 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 no. no. Well, it's a nightmare and you want to wake up and you want to remove yourself from the situation. What did I do? 20 minutes has passed, literally. And every once in a while, we'd see one of the little ones. Every time I think that they're gone for good, then they'd pop back up. And then I'd kind of like look at them in the scope and they'd kind of like start walking up and get ready to shoot. And I'd kind of like prep myself, like, all right, you're gonna do it, you're gonna do it. I, I can't do it, I can't do it. And then one of them comes over. I'll get you right where I was. So I am right here. Well, right here, right over there, but. And I'm looking up and he's just at the top of these trees straight up. I don't know what that is, uh, 12 yards or something. And I decided, you know what, I'm gonna do it. We're not gonna find the big one. I'm gonna shoot it. There's this Bigfoot chick up in Oregon named Diane Stocking. And she said that Justin Smith is an asshole for shooting to Bigfoot. Or he's an asshole for lying about it. Either way, he's still an asshole. Pull it up, and then I'm trying to figure out where I want to shoot it. I ended up deciding on the neck because it's such close range. I figure I don't want to mess up the head. I don't want to blow a huge hole in the body. So I decided on the neck. I had 25 out six. I had to adjust the focus, everything. I look at it, shoot. It starts rolling down the hill and hits my boot about, I think it was right here. It hit this boot. I picked it up. I'm looking at it. I'm like, wow, it looks a little different up close. Buddy comes up, he gets all pissed off. Oh, what did he do? He shot a little Bigfoot, blah, 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 blah. He called it a Bigfoot? He didn't call it a bear. Oh. Okay, no, I, so you guys knew. He it. said, you shot one of the little ones. Uh, yeah, and so I was like, all right, well, forget it. So I throw it kind of towards Richter and I start walking off. I didn't even get to where you guys are at. I look down and he, grabbing it and he's looking at it just like I was too. There's just no way to grab it. You can't grab him by the, like, the head. You could, I guess, but it's just like there was a lot of loose skin, like a puppy almost. So I grabbed it, lifted it up. Like a teddy bear kind of? I guess. Yeah, yeah. L lifted it up. I'm looking at it and... An Ewok? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> like a bear kind of? No, not like a bear. Okay. You're going to go back to that, aren't you? Like you're pretty convinced. What, what, what would you do? Like, yeah. Okay. So I shoot it. It rolls down the hill. Pick it up, look at it, throw it. My buddy comes back and I was like, all right, so here's the deal. We just seen the warden. I don't know if you guys saw, there's pretty much one way in, one way out. We saw him by the corral and he was gonna check everybody. This is the middle of hunting season. He's gonna check everybody that goes in and goes out. I was like, all right, so what do you wanna do? 
And he's like, all right, how, how about we, we come back tonight? We can come back tomorrow. All right, all right, so we'll just bury it. So we take it and we put it about. Come back for what though? For the body. So you come back and take it? Yeah, come back and pick up a little one and or we can find the big one. He's just dead somewhere right here. So we put it right here. We place all this stuff on top of it, whatever we can find. We're grabbing, I probably put this on top of it. I don't know. Um, grabbed a bunch of stuff, put it on top of it. And it's normal to leave a deer overnight. Like we'll shoot a deer in a canyon and leave it overnight. Come pick it up the next day. Normal to shoot a bear. I shot a pig last week, left it overnight. Like it's just normal. Uh, it's not really that weird. It should have been there. Well, that night it snowed, I don't know, one feet, three feet, something like that. Over the weekend, it ended up piling up to like three feet of snow. We didn't get back here for a month. When we got back here, everything looked like it was just like we left it. But there was no Bigfoot. There's no nothing. Hey, my little Squatch Monsters, it's time to shake up the Bigfoot community. This is Off the Richter. We're going to find out if Bigfoot's real by watching videos made by researchers, hoaxers, and attention whores like me. Oh my God, this is why scientists don't take us seriously. I've got news for you. There's no such thing as a Bigfoot expert. Say no to the woo-woo. Don't tell Michael Merchant but I'm the Team Taser Superstar. You call that a Bigfoot video? McFly here thinks he's a Bigfoot expert. Oh my God, Bigfoot does not have telepathy. Is Bigfoot real? Let's find out. You want your Bigfoot video to be seen? Now's your chance. Am I really that gay? Mm. Have you seen the number one Bigfoot news website? BigfootEvidence.blogspot.com features breaking Sasquatch news and informative articles on the elusive beast. It is continuously updated along with over 200 videos on our YouTube channel. So be sure to subscribe and investigate this creature even further. What sets this Bigfoot website apart from all the others is that it is maintained on an hourly basis. If you have a photo, video, or a Sasquatch story, be sure to share it with Sean Evidence. And then you can engage with other believers of Bigfoot in the comments section of every article. It's a great way to make new friends in the Bigfoot community and to let your voice be heard. So visit our site, subscribe on YouTube, follow us on Twitter, and be sure to leave your comments at bigfootevidence.blogspot.com. So the big one went off in what that direction? Uh, you know, I, I, it sounded like when it crashed that that we had kind of a echo. So it sounded like that it crashed right up here. So it's, yeah, it sounded like it was just like right in there maybe. Why would you pick the thing up and taking it closer to the road, some place where you knew you could find it, as opposed to somewhere in a gully? The best way I can answer that is just that when something crazy happens, you don't think logically. Like, I don't think logically. That's that's my reaction but to you it. You knew that you probably did something wrong. I did do something wrong. I mean, there's it's not a good thing to go around shooting stuff that we don't know what it is. Because if it's like, it's not a bear, but you knew it wasn't a bear, and it's something that looks, like you said, you, you think it looks like kind of human. Right. You shot it. <clears throat> Look, yeah. To kill it. I want to say Murder, something right? in his defense. He, he, he didn't, Bigfoot wasn't in his vocabulary. Who's this Michael Lorenz guy? I mean, what's up with all these newbies coming up here and looking for Bigfoot? He's an expert on casting footprints, and he's been up to the Sierras hundreds of times. That's who Michael Lorenz is. What I want to know is who is this Al Joseph guy? Is this somebody that Richter brought that he picked up along the way? He is kind of cute, though. He might have heard of the word, okay? I, <clears throat> here we are two, three years later, you know, and we come up here for a purpose and we know what we're doing. I just, yeah. I just don't know. 
So know. you paid to go on an expedition, but you're not sure if I'm a liar or not. I'm not saying that. I'm just, I'm just curious. I'm asked. I figure I paid to come on on this thing. I yeah. want to ask some. You questions. ask you questions. It's just you don't yeah, need to. I, like everything doesn't need to be no, an accusation. No, no. I just figured I'd just. I'm trying to get my head wrapped around it because it's, you know, some of it sounds like bullshit. Well, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm how, sorry, how but this? I'm just how saying. I'm just. I'll give you your money. No, 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 no. I'm good. No, I'm go cool. Home. I, I want to no, be seriously. here. No, I'm good. I just want to ask a few questions. There, that's there, all. There's the money. Nope. You, you can go home. I don't want to go. Home. I want to stay. I'm sorry. I'm. I'm not trying to ruin everybody's time. I'm just trying to ask some questions because right. this is my chance, right? right. That's what I want to do. Questions. It just doesn't sound like a question. Well, no, I know. Ask, um, I got. Ask, I got a question. I have experience you have with Bigfoot. Sorry, that way. So, are you coming from a skeptic camp standpoint? Do you have a lot of experience? So, no, I wouldn't say I have experience. I'm curious. I, 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 I want to believe. Okay, okay, so you don't really have any significant experience. That's why you're asking all these questions. Yeah, that's true. Okay. That's true. I just, I, I'm just curious. Uh-huh. Because I, I want to know, and, and if you did shoot or murder a Bigfoot, then I want to I want to ask the question so I can learn, figure out exactly. Because if they're real, you killed, you murdered one. I think murder's a strong word, dude. Yeah, I know. It's Big time. We shut the air. <laughs> but if it's like a person, then it's murder. But well, we don't know that. Okay, okay. All right. I'm sorry. So I'm just, just stop. The picture is no it. good. They'll confiscate it. Anybody who works for the federal government takes that stuff. I don't trust the government. So what about you, Justin? What what, what do you think you should have done? In other words, him, after all this and said and done, done, or what you would have wished? I would have just thrown done. it in the back. I would have shot the little one as soon as they saw it, thrown it in the back of the truck and drove to the news station. Even if the warden saw it. It's not oh, not at this season. point, like the, it's the, not, there's not a season for what yeah. this creature is. For Whatever you want to call it, dude. <laughs> if you were the warden and he had that in the back of his truck, Oh, you're shooting a bear out of season. You're shooting a deer out of season. Whatever. I mean, if you had taken this thing up and put it close to the road and been able to come back for it, it just seems like you and this other guy sounds like he was probably pretty smart too. I mean. If I could do things different, I would. Hindsight's 2020 and something, something, something. How long after that moment did you get on the internet and start researching Bigfoot? I mean, I, I, I would just ask friends about it. I would just, hey, like, I started with my hunting buddies. I called the guy that I knew that had been hunting for 20 years. Hey, you ever seen anything? No, no. Okay. And then every once then, you know, maybe I called five people, and maybe two of them said, yeah, they did, and three of them said, definitely not. Did you ever have blood on you? I heard you had blood on your boots or something. I don't have blood on my boots. And on my shirt. My shirt okay. Your friend and you, I'm just, and this isn't... I'm just curious. I'm just asking questions. Okay. So don't don't take this wrong. Um, aren't you and Kip friends? I thought we were. I don't, I don't know what this deal is actually. Some people have issues with it, and then they wait till they're in front of everybody else to bring them up. And that, 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 that seems like that's what always happens. So you and your you and your friend, you see a seven and a half foot tall, whatever, and it's not a bear, and these other things that are on their legs on their four legs, on their two legs once in a while, and you guys get back in the car, and you've never heard of Bigfoot in your life, and you guys don't say the word Bigfoot, you don't say, the, what do you say, like ape or gorilla? Uh, we had literally say? been running up and down these hills, like if you try running up here, it's very, very difficult. And we had been running up and down these hills and coming up and down, and we were just sitting there in the car coughing and coughing because our adrenaline got so high. Uh, by the end of the road, we might have still been coughing, and then we are coming up to Sierraville, which is like, that's 45 minutes from here. And it's kind of like our last stop before we get to the highway. Was the game warden there when you drove by? The game warden wasn't even there. So you couldn't turn around so and come back and get we it? We could have. It was, it was a nightmare to get away from. And so the first one you shot, the adult, that was, you said it was like center, you probably killed it, right? Uh, well, it was, it was right, right here, which is, that's, it, that's probably, perfect. It's not gonna live, yeah. right? It's gonna. Yeah, I, I did have a little small caliber for something that's like 800 pounds or whatever. Um, but it would have done a black baron. We've done a 500 pound black brand. What kind of gun was it? It's a 25 out six. It was. It's like a small 30 out six. It's like a little small for bears, people would say. So no DNA. No or DNA. That? No proof. Because I heard that you gave a sample of, of the Bigfoot or the whatever, and it came back bear. Right. right. <laughs> yeah. So the bear so, coming again. Just, well, um, that's what we all have to go. I by. came back 35 days later, and I found uh, some flesh or some hide or something. Uh, my was dog here. My that, dog found it. It was, it was over there, uh, not very far. It would make the story better if I said it was like a mile away. But right, right over there, we found some hair and some hide. 
and it was must have been from what I shot right like that's the way I was thinking of it but in reality there's a road right up here that you know a bear hunter would take or whatever and if he was to shoot a bear he couldn't get it up that hill he would take and drag it down here so to me I think this is a very likely area if you shoot a bear anywhere that way you're probably going to drag it to that road over there um, that's my theory on why it was uh, came back as bear it, it just wasn't what I shot it was 35 days later didn't it, it was the same color as what I shot but obviously it, it was very fresh it was very fresh and I was thinking it got frozen somehow uh, it was probably from three or four days earlier so here's the question would you shoot another one Absolutely. in other words if you saw it and you knew what it was um, for the you... sake of a science or whatever you want to call it 100% I, I'm not, I don't go around in the woods. I'm not, I don't have a rifle every time I go, mm. but some of the time I do. So there's no physical evidence. There's no happened. physical evidence that this happened, this is, but this. it's just like every other Bigfooter story. It's just a story. And then what is it? Uh, this Bart guy films a bunch of blurry stuff over there. Is that coincidence or is that just something So that we've happens? had activity like, like Bobo from Finding Bigfoot. He, he said to some friends that asked him, it's like, you know, why do you give it any credit? Why do you give it any merit? It's like, you come here, it's obvious the Bigfoots are there. Uh, then you put that together with all the activity they've had up there. You can't just close your eyes and pick a spot on a map and figure out that there's Bigfoot activity there. You just can't do that. And so there's been a lot of stuff that I would feel like corroborates my story. A skeptic would say it's just a coincidence or it has nothing to do with it. Or overactive imagination, maybe they call it. This whole mystery, this whole big Bigfoot thing. You had the closest opportunity if you will to get proof and physical evidence and now and you didn't do it and but now you want everybody to believe that you just came up here and and murdered a, a Bigfoot. He doesn't want you to believe it's just a story. Well no, I'm just saying. It's, it, it, it is you know what I mean? It's just like every other Bigfooter story. I don't think that we're all lying. Uh, some people seem to have an overactive imagination. It's not a lie if you believe it and you believe it. I believe that what I'm what I'm saying happened, happened. What did the little what, one yeah, smell the like? It smelled like a bear, like a wet dog. Hmm. Like a musky, dirty animal. So you're a hunter, you, you like to put meat on the table. When you were had your sights on that creature, were you planning on eating it? Is that why you pulled the trigger? I'm just looking for motive here. I would not eat a Bigfoot. I think that's how you'd get diseases. Um, like it'd be like eating a monkey or eating a person. It's just a little too close in relation. Oh, my motivation was just it shouldn't be there. I mean, we kill like mountain lions or coyotes. We have no intention of eating them. They shouldn't be here. They're bad for the land. Yeah. In a sense, from a hunter's standpoint. This is a lot to take in. When you killed the little one, did you ever think that maybe something was going to come back and... At the time, I didn't. Yeah. I had one bullet left in the gun. So I got to ask you, Kip, why did you walk away when Justin was still telling the story? Because um, I heard it before and I was pretty much done with his verbal hand job. Ouch. Sorry, but there's a lot of people out there that think he's full of shit. Okay, I mean... Asked the questions and the same kind of bullshit. So it was like, oh, I'm tired of being jerked off, you know? You, so you're not sold on a story then? No. Not one bit. Not one bit. Where's the body? Where's the DNA? Where's the pictures? You know? I saw an alien today. Was he selling oranges on the corner? He was. No. See? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> On the next episode of Bigfoot Nation, Rose Sahibi organizes a late night outing where team members split up near the kill site in search of Bigfoot. And new expedition member Al Joseph sees something on the FLIR, but this time it was recorded. And it's closer now and it's big. This is gonna be epic.
contrary to what you may think, I have complete confidence in Richter's video production skills, but in his field investigation skills, not so much.